Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm just going to be focusing on dribbling uh, just giving you or just some ideas of what you can do uh, in regards to developing or getting better at your dribbling now in these drills all you pretty much need is two cones and a ball uh, so hope you enjoy the video and yeah let's get into it now how I like to start my session is by having the ball at my feet uh, pretty much getting it shifting in different directions I would definitely encourage anyone uh, to always do this before they start their sessions or their drills it just pretty much helps the brain and the legs or the feet to pretty much coordinate and start working together so when you do get into the session you are sharp and ready now I would also say that this kind of warm-up uh, also helps you to get a feel of yourself your body do you have any injuries do you have anything that's hurting uh, and obviously you can always make a decision whether you want to continue with the session or drill based on that but I would definitely encourage anyone to always have the board at their feet and getting it moving so yeah I would encourage that definitely Now, as I said before, pretty much all you need for this drill is two cones and a football and then you can get started. Now, how I've set up, I've just put one cone down. I've made about five or six steps. Uh, so that is the distance. Now, you can always make the distance here smaller or bigger, depending on obviously the space that you have yourself at home uh, or in the park, wherever you are uh, to do this drill. Now, the first variation of this drill is just a single leg dribbling using the outside of the foot. Now, as you can see, every time I get to the side, I switch legs. So I'm getting to work on both of my legs. I strongly encourage everyone to always be using both of their feet whenever they're doing these drills to make sure that obviously they're getting stronger on both of their feet. As you can see, I'm taking small little touches and make sure that ball stays nice and close. Now, the next variation of this drill is a single leg dribbling again, but this time, instead of using the outside of the foot, we're now using our laces. Once again, small little touches, nice and controlled. Our next variation of our drill is a single leg dribbling, but this time we're using the inside of our foot, taking those small little touches, staying nice and low and making sure that we don't lose control of the ball. The progression of our drill is that this time we're using the soles of our foot. So under our foot, making sure that we change legs every time we get to the other side. Same principles apply, small controlled touches and always staying in charge. Our last variation and progression of our drill is that this time we're using both of our feet to move the ball around. Now, I encourage you guys to make sure that you're using different parts or different surfaces of your foot. So don't just use the inside and don't just use the outside, but use different parts, keeping that ball nice and controlled and staying nice and low. <laughs> 